The Paul in the Barn Paradox The twin paradox discussed earlier is a classic paradox in relativity. Another classic paradox is as follows. Suppose a runner moving at 0.75 c carries a horizontal pole 15 meters long toward a barn that is 10 meters long. The barn has front and rear doors that are initially open. An observer on the ground can instantly and simultaneously close and open the two doors by remote control. When the runner and the pole are inside the barn, the ground observer closes and then opens both doors so that the runner and pole are momentarily captured inside the barn and then proceed to exit the barn from the back doorway. Do both the runner and the ground observer agree that the runner makes it safely through the barn? Okay, so here is our runner carrying this pole, which is 15 meters long and moving at 0.75 c with respect to the ground observer, that's our S reference frame. And the length of the barn as measured by the ground observer is 10 meters. So uh, we have to look at the situation from S and S prime reference frames. S prime is the pole reference frame. According to the S prime reference frame, the end point and the start point, the beginning and the end of this pole is stationary. According to this reference frame, it's moving with respect to the S reference frame. So the proper length will be measured by the S prime reference frame, the proper length of the pole is 15 meters measured by the S prime reference frame. How about the length of the barn? Because according to the S prime reference frame, the barn is approaching, uh, it's going to, it does not have a, a constant uh, position in uh, space, therefore the front end and uh, back end and front end are moving, therefore the, uh, the S prime reference frame will not measure this length properly. Uh, the proper length is measured by the S reference frame, which sees the two end points fixed. Okay, therefore there will be length contraction. So the length of the barn as seen by the runner will be the proper length divided by gamma that is length contraction. So that will be 10 times square root 1 minus 0 0.75 square, 6.6 .6 meters. All right, so the runner says the pole length is 15 meters. The uh, length of the barn is 6.6 .6 meters. The Earth observer, on the other hand, measures the proper length 10 meters for the barn, but not the proper length of the pole because according to the Earth observer, the pole is moving on the x-axis with 0.75 c, therefore it will be contracted, length contraction. So length of the pole multiplied by square root 1 minus v square over v square c square. So this is going to become v square over c square. So this will become 15 square root 1 minus 0 0.75 square, 9.9 .9 meters. So according to the Earth observer, the pole has a length 9.9 .9 meters, the barn has a length 10 meters. So because the length of the pole, according to the Earth observer, is less than the length of the barn, when the pole is inside the barn, the Earth observer can simultaneously close the front and back doors and reopen so that the pole is momentarily captured. But according to the runner point of view, the length of the barn is 6.6 .6 meters, length of the pole is 15 meters. Therefore, one would think that it is impossible to keep the pole momentarily captured inside the barn. So how do we solve this paradox? Okay, so if you look at the uh, space-time graphs for uh, the ground observer point of view and runner observer point of view. So the two ends, the front end and the rear end of this uh, barn is fixed according to the uh, ground observer point of view. So let's put the front end at x equals zero, the back end at uh, 10 meters. So this is the front doorway, this is the rear doorway. 
Okay, so as time goes by, the front doorway and rear doorway are not moving according to the ground observer. Therefore, we have a only a motion on the time axis, CT. So this will be the green line here. However, what is moving with respect to the Earth observer is the uh, trailing end and uh, trailing end and leading end of the pole. So uh, we can say that at time t is equal to zero, let's say that the leading end is uh, at the uh, same position as the front end of the barn. Uh, so uh, then we would see that uh, the trailing end of the pole, the other end, because the length of the pole measured by the ground observer is 9.9 .9 meters, would be approximately at minus 10 or minus uh, 9.9. .9. So to be more specific, uh, this uh, number is actually minus 9.9. .9. All right. And as time goes by, so this leading end, as I said, is uh, at t equals to zero at the front door. As time goes by, the leading end and front end are moving with 0.75c. So x is equal to 0.75ct. Uh, so we will have the slope here. Uh, 0 0.75, uh, the, the leading end is moving and the trailing end is moving with the same slope, all right? So as they move uh, together, we can see that at a certain point in time, the distance between the leading and front end, which is 9.9 .9, uh, meters, uh, it's entirely captured inside the barn and we can simultaneously open and close the doors. So the ground observer says the leading end and the trailing end of the pole are uh, basically passing the uh, rear doorway and the front doorway. So this is the rear doorway, front doorway at the same time. Therefore, we can uh, momentarily close these two doors and keep the uh, pole inside. Now, from the runner point of view, what is fixed is the uh, leading end and trailing end of the pole. So the leading end, as I said, is at x equals zero uh, at, the, uh, at time t equals zero. And uh, the proper length of the pole measured by S prime was 15 meters. Therefore, the trailing end would be then at minus 15 meters. So zero and minus 15. And according to this S prime observer, this pole is not moving. The barn is moving. The barn is approaching. So therefore, we would see that uh, as time goes by, we don't have any motion on the x-axis, but uh, we only have motion on the time axis. So CT, so we will have a fixed position uh, here. Now, the uh, front doorway at time uh, t is equal to zero, is at x is equal to zero uh, as the pole is entering the barn and then it's going to move in the negative direction and then uh, we will have the back doorway also moving in the negative x direction with respect to the runner. So with what speed? Uh, also with 0.75c. So we will see that front doorway which was at x equals zero is, is basically uh, uh, moving at uh, 0 0.75 c so x is equal to minus 0 0.75 ct so it's approaching so we will have this line and for the uh, rear doorway because the distance between the front doorway and rear doorway measured by the runner is uh, the length of the barn measured by the runner that is 6.6 .6 meters so this is at 6.6 uh, .6 meters now, so this distance between them is kept constant and front and rear doorways are moving with x equals minus 0.75 uh, ct. So x is equal to minus 0.75 ct, a graph here. And here I have x is equal to plus 75 ct. So they have the same slope. 
Okay, but however, the distance between the two ads is 6.6 .6 instead of 9.9 .9 on this plot, the distance between the uh, ends of the poles. So this is the distance between the front and back doorways. Now you can see that uh, if I plot these, they move with the same uh, slope. Uh, so first I see that as time goes by, uh, the rear doorway arrives at the leading end of the pole first and then the front doorway arrives at the trailing end of the pole. So you can see that the leading and the trailing end of the poles are not uh, crossing the, uh, the rear doorway and front doorway simultaneously. All right, so uh, let me label these here to make sure uh, this is understood. So this is, this end is what I'm calling the uh, leading end. And this end is what I'm calling the trailing end. Okay, at uh, time t equals to zero, the leading end of the pole is at the front doorway. So this is our uh, front doorway. Front doorway. And then here we have a rear doorway. All right, so at, t at time t is equal to zero, the leading end of the pole is at the front doorway. Uh, you can see uh, here, this is the leading end of the pole at the front doorway. And as time goes by, uh, the um, rear doorway passes the leading end. Okay, so the pole enters and as time goes by, the, front, uh, the rear doorway uh, passes the leading end. So that's this point. And then as we continue, uh, what happens, the trailing end uh, will be passed by the front doorway. So front doorway will be passing the trailing end. Okay, so these two events are not simultaneous. So the intersections at different points, so the opening and closing of the doors is not simultaneous according to the runner. So this explains the paradox. So basically there is no paradox. The, the ground observer sees that the pole uh, leading ends and trailing ends are passing the front and rear doorway simultaneously, therefore they can be momentarily captured. The runner from the runner observer point of view, the, uh, the time when the trailing end is passing the front doorway is not the same time uh, the rear uh, doorway is passing the leading end of the pole. So therefore, these two events are not simultaneous. So uh, there is no problem with uh, having these uh, doors uh, close to capture it momentarily. All right, so that's what they, they do not agree on. Okay, so to summarize, uh, after the twin paradox, we have talked about the pole in the barn paradox, where we have a runner moving at 0.75 C towards a barn that is 10 meters in length, measured by a ground observer. The pole length is 15 meters measured by the runner. Uh, the runner measures the proper length of the pole. The runner does not measure the proper length of the barn because the front end and rear end are moving with respect to the runner. And therefore, uh, it's length contracted 10 divided by gamma, that's 6.6 .6 meters. According to the Earth observer, the barn is fixed in position, so proper length is 10 meters. The pole is not mixed, so 15 meters will be length contracted, that is 9.9 .9 meters. Because the length of the pole measured by the Earth observer is less than the length of the barn, uh, when the pole is inside the barn, uh, this uh, observer can simultaneously close these doors and momentarily capture the pole inside and then reopen them so that it continues. <clears throat> According to the runner point of view, 
the length of the barn is 6.6 meters length of the pole is 15 meters so it seems impossible to keep the pole inside the barn momentarily the paradox is resolved by considering the space-time graphs from the ground observer and runner point of view from the ground observer point of view front doorway at x equals 0 and rear doorway at x equals 10 so this is uh, x equals 0 this is x equals 10 uh, they are fixed so they're not moving and the front end and the uh, the leading end of the pole at time t equals to zero is at the front doorway so this is at t equals to zero at the front doorway and then it passes with 0.75 c so we will have a constant slope here the uh, trailing end of the pole which according to this observer uh, is at minus 9.9 .9 meters here so this if this is at x equals 0 this would be at x equals minus 9.9 .9 according to this observer that is also moving with the same uh, slope on the space-time graph we see that these two ends pass the front and rear doorway simultaneously therefore it's possible to capture it from the runner point of view the leading end of the pole and trailing end of the pole are fixed so the leading end is at zero the trailing is and is at minus 15 meters front doorway is going to uh, coincide with the leading at at t equals to zero and continue with minus 0.75 c uh, so uh, front doorway continues with minus 0.75 ct uh, x equals minus 0.75 cd and it will eventually uh, pass the trailing end of the pole this other end of the pole the rear doorway is uh, located at plus 6.6 .6 meters uh, according to the uh, with respect to the leading end at that point and that is also moving with the same speed minus 0.75 ct is our uh, plot is our graph here x equals minus 0.75 ct so uh, what we see is that the moment in time they pass the leading end and trailing end uh, are not the same so the front doorway arrives at the trailing end of the pole uh, after the rear doorway arrives at the leading end of the pole therefore um, there is no paradox here um, the the two events that look simultaneous with respect to the ground observer are not simultaneous with respect to the runner